in a significant milestone, marking a major leap in the expansion of Turkey's defense capabilities. The country has successfully completed the first full-scale test of its newest naval weapon system, aboard a modernized submarine platform. This test represents a significant milestone in Ankara's long-term strategy to strengthen its undersea warfare deterrent. For years, Turkey has invested heavily in airborne and land-based systems, quickly becoming a leading manufacturer of drones, missiles, and electronic warfare equipment. However, undersea warfare has remained a relatively quiet segment of the country's defense modernization agenda. One of the most important elements of this test was the weapon seamless integration with the submarine's fire control system. This integration required the redesign of key internal components to ensure a low acoustic signature, a necessity for any modern submarine launch weapon. The weapon is believed to be equipped with a hybrid navigation suite that combines inertial navigation, acoustic tracking, and possibly satellite-assisted positioning. Such a system would enable mid-course corrections and high precision even in GPS-free environments, a scenario increasingly common in contested maritime areas. Defense officials have hinted that the weapon will be adaptable for a variety of missions, including anti-ship, anti-submarine, and possibly strategic land attack roles. While unconfirmed, this adaptability suggests Turkey aims to position the system as a multi-domain asset, rather than a single-use torpedo or missile, according to defense analysts. Turkey's strategic environment makes underwater capabilities a crucial investment. Geopolitical tensions in the surrounding maritime zones, particularly the Eastern Mediterranean and Aegean Sea, place significant emphasis on naval maneuverability, stealth, and deterrence. In these waters, submarine service force multipliers, capable of carrying out a wide range of missions, from intelligence gathering to anti-surface warfare. This successful test not only signifies a technological achievement, but also sends a message. Turkey is committed to protecting its maritime interests with increasingly sophisticated equipment. Although the Ministry of National Defense did not release video footage, sources familiar with the project described the test as involving a new generation guided weapon launched from an underwater platform at an undisclosed depth. The weapon reportedly demonstrated stable trajectory control, high accuracy firing performance, and improved resistance to electronic interference capabilities that align with Turkey's broader push toward autonomous and semi-autonomous military technology. The test is widely seen as a victory for Turkey's burgeoning defense ecosystem, which has expanded significantly over the past decade. Domestic defense companies have developed everything from drones to armored vehicles, and this new submarine weapon marks another step toward self-sufficiency in critical technologies. Engineers reportedly designed the weapon with minimal reliance on foreign components, a deliberate move to protect it from export restrictions and geopolitical volatility. The weapon incorporates Turkish-made processors, propulsion elements, and composite materials designed to withstand the unique demands of underwater deployment. The project brings together several key players in the Turkish defense industry, including naval research centers, private technology companies, and state-owned shipyards. This collaboration highlights a shift towards a more integrated domestic ecosystem, where expertise flows more freely between institutions. Turkey's defense exports have already been on an upward trajectory, thanks largely to its drone programs. Successfully tested submarine-launched weaponry could open new markets especially among nations seeking modern naval systems at competitive prices. Analysts believe that once the system completes its full evaluation cycle, it may become a sought-after export product within the next decade. As Turkey enhances its underwater arsenal, neighboring countries and international military observers are paying close attention. The introduction of a new submarine-launched weapon shifts the operational balance in the region and strengthens Turkey's hand in maritime negotiations, submarines already provide one of the strongest forms of deterrence due to their stealth and persistence. Equipping them with modern, long-range, and precise weaponry significantly increases the risks for any adversary contemplating escalation. In contested waters, Dot as a long-standing NATO member, Turkey's enhanced submarine capabilities could contribute to the alliance's collective readiness, particularly in regions where undersea surveillance and counter-submarine operations are becoming more militarized. While NATO often debates the complexity of Turkey's foreign policy, it nonetheless recognizes the strategic value of modernized Turkish naval assets. By conducting the test independently and unveiling only selective details, Turkey sends a dual message, the country is technologically capable and strategically assertive, 
yet also deliberate and measured in how it presents its advancements. This signaling is especially important amid ongoing maritime disputes, where perceptions of power often shape diplomatic outcomes. Following the successful test, the weapon will undergo a series of additional evaluations, including expanded range trials, stress tests under different sea conditions, and integration checks with multiple submarine classes. These assessments could take up to two years, depending on performance results. Simultaneously, Turkai is expected to continue expanding its submarine fleet. The ongoing new type submarine project NTSB and plans for future indigenous submarines suggest that Ankara is preparing a long-term undersea modernization roadmap in which this new weapon will be a core component. Engineers are reportedly exploring advanced eye-assisted targeting, deeper sea firing capability, and improved communications with unmanned surface and underwater vehicles. If these developments materialize, Turkai could become one of the leading innovators in next-generation underwater warfare. The successful test marks a defining moment for Turkey's maritime strategy. Beyond the technological achievement, it represents an evolution in how the country perceives its role in regional security and its long-term defense independence. As Turkai continues to develop and refine this weapon, its submarine fleet will gain powerful new capabilities that could shape the balance of power in surrounding waters for years to come. With this milestone, Turkai has sent a clear signal, the depths of the Mediterranean and the technology that thrives within them are becoming a central arena for the nation's future defense ambitions. Defense ambitions.